eHouse initiative is just one part of an overall state strategy to grow our green economy. You know, prior to the last couple of years, we've had a foundation in the state for green jobs and a green economy, but it's only in the last two years, under the leadership of Governor Malloy and Commissioner Esty, where we've really started in earnest to really focus on how do we grow a green economy and make sure that we have green jobs uh, for everyone who is looking for them. And we started that with Public, Public Act 1180, which was our compre comprehensive energy bill. And what we did with that was we focused on aligning industry with workforce, with education, and with government, so that all the things we are doing all move in the same direction towards creating a stable and growing green economy. And it's, it's bearing fruit. Just recently, Connecticut was ranked fifth in the nation for green job growth during 2012. And we expect to continue that effort and grow green jobs. In fact, our latest analysis says that green jobs will grow in the state of Connecticut by 9.6% by the year 2020. That means for each of you here who are doing work in this area and planning on going in, working in the green economy, there will be a job for you. And that's what we're working on. We want to make sure that there are good, sustainable jobs out there for you while we work together to make sure that we have a cleaner, greener environment. So you, our students, you are our future. And we know that you will be at the forefront as we build on this solid foundation and we expand into this new era of green jobs. Just uh, green technology has been on the uprising for quite some time now with 21st century advancements such as more efficient panels and cost-effective ways to create and install them. As of right now, and especially in the type of climate that we live in here in Connecticut, it will probably take a while to start seeing returns on the investment of solar thermal heating. And one of the biggest upsides to all of it in general is, of course, the amount of jobs that will be created. And the plumbing industry is an excellent example. Although there may not be many diverse jobs for us plumbers, the fact that it's a brand new trade, coupled with the attention that solar energy has been catching, means employment opportunities will be on the uprise for quite a few years to come. It would probably be exponential simply because of the fact that green technology is not just some fad, it's imperative. Our consumption of fossil fuels and its harmful effects to the environment have been getting increasingly noticeable. Even Google created the Earth Engine, which shows the stark reality and destruction of the Earth over a 28-year period with the use of satellite images, meaning there will be even more room for employment of the next generation who have been exposed to this type of technology all their lives. And I'm lucky enough to be part of that future who may one day find a way to store enough energy in solar cells to make solar thermal heating the most cost-effective method even in this part of the globe. And this is the area for green technology to shine, no pun intended.